Hey, welcome to Fraction Sense Part 1. I'm Super Teacher Guy, and I want to help you today with your getting your children to understand fractions in a way that will make total sense to them so they can build upon this knowledge and become master fraction operators and never question what they're doing when it comes to computing with fractions. So, let's get started. This is one whole unit, right? So I use the word unit a lot because kids will see that a lot. It is just another way of saying one. And so if kids know this is one whole unit, when I start bringing in other fractions, these are halves. So if I line up one half with the second half, they can now see that two halves equals one whole because the amount of space that it takes up is what a fraction represents. It's how many pieces make up the whole. And this is one piece out of two. So two parts out of two is all of it or the whole one unit. So that's an important place to start. And so I also have thirds and most kids when they're learning about fractions have a hard time understanding the fact that the larger number typically which is three represents a smaller part of the whole than this one half which I'll put over here and so that's the first misconception is that kids are used to thinking three is more than two now, the reason the three makes sense is because it takes three parts to make the one whole versus with halves, it takes two parts to make the one whole. So it's three parts out of three to make that one whole. So this type of work with your kids is really important. Also, just by having them write these fractions and write these equivalency statements, that'll help get them going. Or you write it, but then they can express it and say it to you. Now here I have a fourth. And so up on the board, there are four fourths. And once again, the pattern shows that it takes four of these pieces to make one whole unit. Four parts out of four is now the equivalent to one whole. But as your kids play around with these pieces, they can start to see equivalency like one fourth is exactly the, I'm sorry, one half is exactly the same as two fourths. And when kids see this, make sure you write it down and have them write it down so they can really think about what these numbers mean because that's really what's lacking in a lot of kids is making sense of what all these numbers mean when it comes to fractions. So work on that for, it should take hours or at least an hour of work with your five, six, seven year old to really let that sink in. And if you have these fraction bars, they go down to six, eighths, ninths, twelfths. So you can really start to see lots of equivalent fractions. So look for part two soon. Thanks. And please like and follow Super Teacher Guy. So do it on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. It's all just Super Teacher Guy. Thanks. Bye-bye.